The Maryland LGBT Chamber of Commerce is having its first annual business expo this Wednesday from 4 to 8 at the Zoo Mansion House. And here to tell us much more about this upcoming event is incoming Chamber President Joan Cox. Welcome, Joan. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. This is an organization that maybe a lot of us haven't heard about. So tell us about the uh, LGBT Chamber. Right. Well, we just launched last June, so we're a new organization. Uh, we're an affiliate of the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce it, located in D.C. Other cities, D.C., Philly, New York, they've all had chambers for a number of years, mm. but Maryland didn't have one. So our co-founders got together and brought a group of people together, and we all said, yeah, I think, I think it's time that we come together as LGBT plus professionals in the Maryland marketplace and, and advocate for one another, network together, and educate the larger business community about inclusivity. It makes a ton of sense. I mean, there, there are many in that community that, that own our local businesses. And so why not network and, and reach out? And so it's great. And I, and I know uh, this upcoming Business Expo is going to be a huge part of that outreach. Right. So it's the first ever. So we invited all of our member companies, and we're up to nearly 100 within one year, uh, to come to the Expo, get a free table, and talk about their services to the wider community. So not just within the LGBT community. We'd like our ally companies and members there, and we'd like just... Uh, general folks to come out and see us meet us absolutely and and uh I, I know this this must mean a lot to you personally because you know here you are a business owner yourself in graphic design uh and and you've been you know in, elected now into this role and uh it's a chance for you to serve and and just reach and, and reach out it's amazing because 10 15 years ago i was completely closeted in my corporate graphic design jobs or i was only out to a few people and now uh not only me i can be president of a chamber like this and talk about uh, my personal life and business life as one, the way everyone else can. But we can encourage and educate businesses to allow their employees to come bring their complete selves to work every day. Because you're gonna get a better employee and a better uh, product out of someone if they can really be themselves. And that's what we wanna promote. Absolutely, and also, uh, look, we're all about just all of our local businesses getting that, that business even more thriving, uh, more customers, more business, and so uh, that's a great byproduct as well. Right. Well, the expo not only is going to feature our feature exhibitors, but we're going to have 10 uh, sessions. So speaker sessions, 30 minutes at a time okay. in two separate rooms. So we'll have um, topics on, you know, fitness and health or uh, the upcoming season at Baltimore Center Stage sure. or uh, understanding um, estate planning issues that affect LGBT families. So we have a whole, you know, you can go yeah. to our website and check out the actual speaker sessions. There's a lot to learn in these sessions beyond just also checking out all of these businesses. So uh, it's a great thing all around. Last question, still time to register sure. for the expo? Yes, we have a number of tickets left, but they are going soon. It's completely free to attend, but we expect to cap out at the zoo. It's a limited number of attendees. So okay. go online and get your ticket today. I know, and it's coming up quick again. It's this Wednesday. so. Visit the website quickly, get those tickets quickly. Uh, Joan, thank you so much. Joan Cox uh, with Maryland LGBT Chamber of Commerce. Thank Appreciate you. you being here today. Thank you. All right, and we are back with more Midday Maryland straight ahead. Stay tuned.